do I really have to? Phew. I imagined something different when it came to searching for clues on the net. A cyber attack like this can do a lot of damage and paralyze entire companies. But where do I actually call if my company has been hacked? Is there such a thing as the German emergency number 110 for the crime scene on the net? Yes, the digital forensic squad. Let's take a look at that now, in the Netzgeschichten. Good, we've already cleared that up. And one more hint, the 110 is of course not the number. We'll give you the right number later. Now, let's take a look at what they actually do. The digital forensic squad has several roles. One, emergency contact. When a company calls about an attack, they need to be on call to act as quickly as possible to minimize damage. Then the team goes in search of clues, in principle just like investigators at a crime scene in the real world. They collect clues that are then analyzed in the lab, except that they are not DNA samples, but digital footprints and fingerprints. But somehow they are also like pastors when the nerves of those affected are really raw. And there is more to know. Malte, you are part of the incident response team at Telekom. How does incident response work exactly and why is it so important? Incident response consists of several phases. One of these is preparation, that is dealing with the question of what I actually do when I have a security incident and establishing an incident response management process. And secondly, the handling of the security incident, which for us as incident responders and forensic experts means containing it, eliminating it and restoring business operations. It often helps to turn off the computer first when there is a problem. Does it also make sense to shut down the systems first to limit the damage? In fact, we do not recommend shutting down systems, because from a forensic point of view, shutting down systems means potentially destroying forensic evidence that resides in a computer's volatile memory. Therefore, in order to deprive the attacker of access to the system, we recommend disconnecting the system from the network that is pulling the network plug or isolating the system on a logical level. What do I do when I realize I have a problem? Who can I turn to then? Companies that have a security incident can contact the German Federal Office for Information Security and ask them for qualified service providers. Alternatively, you can take out this incident response service with Deutsche Telekom. And my colleagues and I are behind this incident response service. How do you protect yourself against attacks from the net? Write it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Then we'll see you again next week for the Netzgeschichten.